वेलकम बैक टू इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी काइंडली सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल इफ यू हैवेंट सब्सक्राइब इट येट नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम व्हिच सीज दैट द 10 पाउंड बॉक्स फॉल्स ऑफ द कन्वेयर बेल्ट एट द इनिशियल वेलोसिटी 5 फीट पर सेकंड इफ द कोफिशिएंट ऑफ काइनेटिक फ्रिक्शन अलोंग दिस ए बी इंक्लाइन इज 0.2 डिटरमाइन द डिस्टेंस एक्स व्हेन द बॉक्स फॉल्स इनटू द कार सो वी हैव टू फाइंड दिस डिस्टेंस एक्स so at point a the velocity is 5 feet per second and we have to find this x and this the kinetic friction the coefficient of kinetic friction between the block and this incline from a to b is 0.2 so now if i consider this block uh, somewhere here let's say if we consider the block here and if we define our coordinate system let's say that the from a to b this is my positive x dash direction and this is my positive y dash direction so the weight of the block is going to act vertically downward this is the weight of the block and the normal force is going to act in the y dash direction the surface will apply the normal force and the friction force is going to act in the opposite direction of the motion so this is the friction force let's say so now we are given the angle of the incline in the shape of this triangle we are given that the incline is making some angle and that angle is represented by this triangle so as we can see that this n is perpendicular with the incline surface and this weight is if, if this weight is perpendicular with the horizontal line so let's say if the angle between uh, this line the incline and the horizontal is let's say theta so then we can say that the angle between the weight and the normal is also theta since weight is perpendicular with the horizontal line and normal is perpendicular uh, with the inclined plane surface right so we have that same angle theta here now we can resolve this weight into its components so we will have this one will be the cos component of the weight which is going to act in the negative y dash direction so this is w cos of theta and from this triangle we can write that cos of theta is base divided by hypotenuse so we can write that the weight is 10 and cos of theta is 4 divided by 5 so this is let me write this is w cos of theta and this is 10 into 4 divided by 5 and similarly it will have the sine component this one will be the sine component of the weight so now uh, if i apply the equation of motion in the y direction y dash direction if i apply the summation of forces along the y dash that will be equal to m a y dash but as we know that this block moves from a to b in the x dash direction so there is no acceleration along the y dash so this means that the summation of forces along the y dash direction will be equal to 0 so as we can see that this n is acting in the positive y dash direction so this is plus n minus the cos component of the weight which is 10 into 4 divided by 5 or uh, we can say that 10 divided by 5 is 2 so this is 8 so n minus 8 is 0 or uh, we can say that n is equal to 8 pounds so the surface is applying 8 pound force on that uh, box which is moving from a to b along this incline now after this uh, first we have to find the velocity at point b since we want to find this distance along the positive x axis is from this point b in the horizontal direction so now for that i am going to apply the work energy principle so the work energy principle says that the kinetic energy at point a the initial kinetic energy plus the summation of all the work done due to the external forces from a to b this will be equal to the kinetic energy at state b or at point b so now the kinetic energy at point a will be 1 divided by 2 mass times v a square so mass is uh, since the weight is 10 so we have to divide by g value which is 32.2 and v a square so v a is 5 feet we have to take the square of this velocity so this is the kinetic uh, energy at point a plus uh, is we know that uh, this box is moving along the x dash direction and this n and this n is acting in the perpendicular direction to the displacement travel so this n is not going to do any work right so the work is done due to the weight and the friction force 
So we can write that the weight and friction force are the external forces that are doing the work on this box. So we can write that the, the summation of the work done from A to B is the work done due to the weight plus the work done due to that friction force. And this will be equal to the kinetic energy at point B. So the kinetic energy at point B will be 1 divided by 2 mass of the box. So mass of the box is again 10 divided by 32.2 into the velocity at B square. So first let me simplify this. This is uh, 10 divided by 2. Let me find that kinetic energy at state E. This is 10 multiplied by 5 square divided by 2 into 32.2. So this is 3.882. So this term is 3.882. And as we know that the work done due to the weight is the work done due to the weight is always equal to the weight times the change in the vertical position. So now the weight is uh, 10 pounds. And the from A to B the box travels 15 feet distance in the vertical direction, right? Since the weight is acting in the vertical direction, so we have to multiply this weight with the change in y in the vertical position. So this is 10 into 15. And as we can see that the box is the box is moving in the downward direction from A to B and the weight is acting in the downward direction. So this is the work done due to the weight is the positive work done. So this is 10 into 15. So this is 150. The work done due to the weight is 150 feet pound plus the work done due to the friction force. So as we know that this friction force is always equal to mu k times n and mu k is 0.2. So this is 0.2 times this 8 pounds. So let me write that the work done due to friction is uh, 0.2 times that 8 pounds time the distance from A to B. So let me write that as A B, the distance from A to B. And let me first simplify this. This is uh, 10 divided by 2. So 5 divided by 32.2. 5 divided by 32.2. So that is 0 0.155. 0 0.155 Vb square. So now we are given this 15 feet. The box uh, travels a distance of 15 feet in the vertical direction. So if I draw a distance triangle, this is point A and this is point B and this is the distance from A to B and the distance between A and B is 15 feet and we are given this triangle as well, this triangle. So these two triangles are similar triangles. So now if we compare both of these triangles, so we can find that as AB, the distance between point A and B. So that is, we can write that as AB the ratios of the sides of these two triangles will be equal, right, since both of these are similar triangles. So, S A B divided by 15 will be equal to 5 divided by 3. So this is 5 divided by 3. And if, if I multiply both sides by 15, so we will have S A B equal to this. And this is 3, 5, and this is 25. So, the box travels a distance of 25 feet from A to B along the incline. So now if we put this as a b in this equation, so we will be left with v b only one unknown. So let me put all those values in this equation. So this is 3.882 plus 150. And remember that the friction force is acting in the opposite direction of the displacement travel, right? So we have to write that the work done due to the friction is the negative work, right? So this is, we have to write that negative sign. So this is plus into minus 0 0.2 into 8 and as AB is 25 and this is equal to 0 0.155 VB square. So first let me calculate this. This is uh, 3.882 plus 150 minus 0 0.2 into 8 multiplied by 25. This is 113.882, and 13.882 0 0.155 Vb square and if you want to find Vb then this will be equal to 113.882 divided by this coefficient which is 0 0.155 this will be equal to Vb square and then we have to take the square root to find that Vb.
So this is equal to 27.11. So the velocity of the box at point B is 27.11 feet per second. Now after this we have to apply the kinematics since the box uh, follows the projectile motion. So now let us say that uh, this is the velocity of this box in this direction this is the V B and here we have the origin this is my positive x and this is my positive y direction. So according to this coordinate system this is my the initial coordinate of that box for the projectile motion. So, this is x naught and y naught. So, from this origin, if this is our 0, 0, so x naught is 0 and y naught is 30 feet. And when the box, box reaches this point C, so that is the final position, the final coordinate of this box according to this origin. So, this is equal to, so the along the x, that is x. So, we have to write that this is x and in the y, this is 5 feet. So now we will apply the kinematics equation. So I can write that y equals to y naught plus e b y since we are considering the vertical motion. So v b y into t and this is minus half g t square. So our positive y direction is in the upward direction and the velocity is increasing in the downward direction. So this means that the acceleration due to gravity will be negative. So this is y, the final y position is 5 feet. So I will write 5, y naught is 30, so this is 30 and v b y. So we have to resolve this v b into its components. So this is, this is v b x and this is v b y. And if this is that theta, then this is that theta. So v b y is the sine component. So I can write that v b y is v b sine of theta and v b is now known which is 27.11 from here and sine of theta is perpendicular divided by hypotenuse so that is 3 divided by 5. So let me write it here and as we know that this is our positive y direction and v b y is acting in the downward direction. So this is the negative direction so we have to write minus sine in this equation. So this means that this is negative v b y. So this is 27.11 into 3 divided by 5 into t minus 1 divided by 2 g is 32.2 feet per second square and this is t square. So now if I bring this 5 to the other side so this will become negative so 30 minus 5 and let me simplify this this is 27.11 into 3 divided by 5 this gives me 16.27, 16.27t and this will be minus 16.1t square and 30 minus 5 is 25. So let me write this as 25 and this is equal to 0. So now this is a quadratic equation in terms of t. So we can find the solution of this quadratic equation. So the coefficient of t square is uh, minus 16.1. The coefficient of t is minus 16.27 and the constant is 25. So t equals to 0 0.839 seconds. And the other root of this quadratic equation is negative. Time cannot be negative. So this is the time taken for the box from B to C. So now we have to find that horizontal distance that is along the positive x direction. So now we can consider the horizontal motion in the uh, while considering the projectile motion. So for horizontal motion we can write that x is equal to x naught plus vbx into t since the acceleration in the horizontal direction is 0 since the velocity vbx is constant in the horizontal direction. So now x, the final position is x which is required, x naught is 0 from here is 0 and v b x is, v b x is v b cos of theta. So v b is 27.11 
and cos of theta from this triangle is b is divided by hypotenuse that is 4 divided by 5. So, from this equation this x is equal to this thing this is 27.11 into 4 divided by 5. So, 27.11 into 4 divided by 5. So and we have to multiply this with the t right this is the v b x. So, this is into t. So, that t is 0 0.8395. So, I have to multiply this with uh, 0 0.8395. So, the distance traveled along x from b to c in the horizontal direction is 18.21, 18.21 feet. So, this is that horizontal distance which this box will travel from B to C to reach that cart at a height of 5 feet. So, this is the solution of this uh, problem from Hibbler Dynamics 14th chapter. I hope this will help you in your learning. Do subscribe my channel for the solution of such more problems from Hibbler Dynamics.